So anyway, guys, I'm super excited to get this video up for you guys, and I know you guys are too. This is the number one question that I get. Um, how do you count macros, and how do you know basically your maintenance? Um, so basically, I'm gonna be going into that today. I'm gonna try to make it as simple as possible, um, as simple and sweet as possible for you guys, because it could get very, very confusing. Um, so yes, I'm going to go into the basics of it um, so you guys have an understanding of it and also a few things that you will need to start counting your macros. So let's do it. So to get things started with this, what you guys are definitely going to need is, I hope that my camera doesn't get blurred with this, but anyways, um, a scale, a food scale guys. Um, this is basically what you're going to be weighing everything on when it comes to macros. Sometimes I do ounces. Most of the time, everything, 99% of the time, I'm weighing in grams. You can find this at any grocery store or even online. They range from like $6 to $15. They could get really fancy. This one was like $10 and I found it at a Safeway. Um, so yeah, so you're definitely gonna need one of these. These are essential or you're not gonna know what you're weighing. Go get one, don't be cheap. And secondly, you are gonna need my fitness pal. Uh, my fitness pal um, is the only I know there's like a few other um, calorie uh, app calorie counters that a lot of people will use I personally have always used my fitness pal since the day I started tracking with through all my preps my fitness pal I use it um, so anyways um, it's pretty basic you know just get the app you can play around with it basically when you first get it and you join it and you make like a little membership um, it also is free um, it makes you put in your weight and your height and stuff like that and then it actually calculates you out macro numbers. Um, I'm not really sure how those work. I think it just gives you like a basic um, like standard numbers at what quote unquote they feel is healthy at what your body should be at. Um, but yeah, it'll calculate macros for you um, but that is definitely not how you should calculate your macros. In my personal opinion, sorry if you feel different. But it's pretty self-explanatory. You basically just scan stuff, um, or you can literally type in like detailed stuff if you're weighing, like for example, uh, fruit out in grams. You could be like uh, five raw grapes, and then um, a lot of people will create will create um, like calorie entries and stuff like that for my fitness pal. But basically, that is how I track my calories. I can scan, or I can literally put in detail for detail um, and then I'll usually go with the one that I feel is the most um, accurate um, in the MyFitnessPal and then I'll add it into my fitness pal. It's super cool because it literally shows you down to like how much vitamin A you're getting and calcium, sodium. It's like super detailed. It's just really, really awesome to be able to see exactly what you're inputting into your body. So let's dive in to how to count. So guys. The most simple way for me to put it is the macronutrients is a breakdown of carbs, protein, and fat. And with that, it breaks down into calories, an allotment of calories. Everybody is going to differ because everyone has different metabolisms, energy expenditure, um, and everyone's different from female to male, your height, and just your current weight, everything's going to be different. Um, so for one gram of fat is nine calories. These are just main little essential things to remember. For one gram of carb is four calories. And for one gram of protein is four calories. So the nice thing about that is carbs and protein to each one gram is four. And fat I feel like is a little bit easier more to remember just because fat is more heavier. Um, so it's gonna be nine calories to a gram of fat. So how do you calculate your own personal numbers? This would just be a basic standard way uh, to calculate your numbers and your intake. And for this video, I'm just gonna use myself as an example. So to start off guys, for protein, you would do one gram per pound of body weight. So one gram of protein per pound of body weight. Not all the time though. If you are somebody that is overweight, um, I would do your lean body mass. And how you get your lean body mass, I'll link it below. So for protein, you're gonna do one gram per pound of body weight. And um, if you're not an overweight person, then obviously you would do your lean mass. So that's for protein. For fat, um, and I want you guys to remember that this is just a very standard way of calculating your numbers. 
For fat, I would do 0.4 grams per pound of body weight. And again, same goes for fat. If you are somebody that is overweight, I would not do um, your overweight times 0.4 grams. I would bar somebody that's overweight, you would want to go buy your lean body mass because if you didn't and you have an extra 10 to 15 pounds on you, it would just be a ridiculous amount more of macros or calories that would be definitely unnecessary for you because obviously if you are somebody that's overweight, you should be in a deficit. So for me, 130 times four um, grams for fat. So it'd be 52 fat. So then from there, we would figure out carbs. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do that next. So with that being said, in order for us to find our maintenance macros, which macros is essentially a breakdown of calories, so our maintenance of calories for you and for me, at this point, we need to take a step back and put the protein and the fat aside um, because obviously all we have left is our carbs to figure out. So from there, um, we take a step back um, and at this point, we need to figure out our BMR. And what our BMR is, is your basal metabolic rate. So basically, these would be calories that you burned if you literally sat and did nothing, or literally like sat in bed. Um, don't, um, don't get scared or don't get intimidated. It's so simple. Basically, um, there's a calculator that you basically plug your numbers into. Um, it would be specifically for you and your body type. Um, I'm gonna link a link below to where you can plug in the numbers. It's like your age, your height, your weight, your genders, um, and like maybe one other question. Anyways, you plug your numbers in specifically to you guys and you'll get a number of calories um, of what your BMR would be um, to burn those calories if you were doing nothing, like absolutely nothing. So then from there, guys, what we would do is the number of our calories that we got from our BMR is not complete. Everybody is um, different throughout the day as far as activities. You know, some people have uh, jobs where they sit at desks all day. Some people have laborious, laborious jobs as like, for example, construction. Um, if you're a student, you're most likely sitting at a, um, a desk all day. So everyone's activity levels are different and that does play into um, your calories. Um, so next what we do is we would, uh, I don't know if you guys see this good or not, um, but there's basically five levels of activity um, as far as our energy expenditure throughout the day for everybody. So anyways guys, each to their own, everybody has their different activity levels. Don't be ashamed, choose one of these, you know which one you are don't put something else and then get some low macros or some high macros. Be honest with yourself because these are your individual numbers for your individual body type. Um, so we have five here. Sedentary is basically like you're doing nothing. There's slightly active, moderate, active, and very active. Um, I would say that I am active. I am somebody that is in the gym five times a week. Um, I'm always on the go. I'm always on my feet doing stuff. Um, so for me, I would be active. Um, again, um, don't worry about like trying to take a snapshot of this or anything. I'm gonna link these um, activity levels down below along with the VMR calculator so that you are able to calculate those numbers. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and take my VMR number and I'm going to multiply it by 1.725. All of these decimal numbers, guys, are gonna be multiplied by your BMR number to get your um, caloric maintenance intake. So I went ahead and times my BMR times my activity level, and this is what I got. BMR, my BMR, um, which is calories burned if I was doing absolutely nothing, was 14.39. You could round up or down, however you guys wanna do it. Um, my activity level was active, which the decimal number for it was 1.725. Um, so I went ahead and times 14.39 times 1.725, and this was my um, calories for my maintenance, guys. 
So this would just be for maintenance, how to find what you maintain on, and then you go from there, depending on what your goals are. So for me, my body type was 2,482 calories. So from here, I'm gonna show you guys how we take our um, fat and protein and then figure out from this uh, caloric number for me how many carbs um, I would need to hold myself at a maintenance. So here are my numbers, guys. Do not be afraid. I will explain and break down everything that you see in front of you. I don't know if I need to scoot a little bit closer for you. So here is my maintenance macros. Um, obviously, I gave you a breakdown of how I found them, um, and this is how you would find yours. Um, so basically, guys, let me just break it down for you. So my protein we found was 130 grams. Um, and then per each protein, four calories to each fat, nine calories. Um, to carbs, four calories. So how we break it down, guys, and find out the actual maintenance calories, which because why, macros is a breakdown of calories. Um, so for me, um, I did 130 grams times four, so that gave me 520 calories for my protein. For fat, 52 times nine, that gave me 468 calories for my fat. Um, so what this number was, was my BMR times my activity level. So this is what my maintenance would be at um, if I was just eating calories every day and just going how I go. This would be my maintenance number, um, uh, 2,482. And then I rounded, give or take. Um, so with the carbs, I would take my calorie count of my protein and my calorie count of my fat I would then add these numbers up and I would minus it from my maintenance calories. So add your protein and fat and minus it from your maintenance calories. And then from there, you would get 1,494, well you wouldn't get, but you would get the calories of your specific calories to your specific body type um, left over. And obviously those calories are what? What have we been working towards finding? Our carbs, guys. So anyways, I went ahead and from here, I divided the 1494 calories left over divided by the four. And that is what gave me 373 carbs. Um, because that is what we were obviously working towards the whole time, finding what my um, uh, carbs would be towards the end, obviously. Um, so yes, guys, so that is it. Another quick thing I wanted to touch on, just in case this confused you guys at all, the reason I divided this big number by four is because to each one carb, it's four calories. So if you guys were wondering that, um, that is why I divided it by four. So if you are trying to lose weight, the cool thing about macros um, is you can play with them. Um, and so basically, here would just be like a standard tip point um, that I would go by for somebody trying to lose weight with macros. Um, there's 3,500 calories to a pound of fat. If you did 500 calories, let's say, seven times a week, um, whatever that may be, just burning 500 calories, then 500 times seven equals 3,500. So essentially, you're gonna be seeing maybe like a pound of um, fat loss a week. Um, but that's just if you're like, you know, if you wanna do cardio or what have you, and you can also put yourself in a deficit um, by taking out 500 calories somehow, um, whether that be from your fat, carbs, whatever. Whatever you wanna do, however you wanna play with your macros. Um, so that's just a little tip on what I would do starting out as a beginner. Um, learning your macros first and then um, incorporating your macros, deducting that from your daily um, a deficit of 500 um, and or doing cardio. Um, so it really is just up to you guys and obviously if you're trying to gain weight then it would just be your maintenance and I, I would go maybe two or 300 calories over your maintenance. 
Um, I don't want you guys to be binge eating or just eating an unnecessary amount to where you feel uncomfortably full. Um, so I would suggest uh, maybe 200 to 300. Um, but then again, with macros, guys, things get very confusing. Um, so it is nice to have like a coach or maybe somebody who uh, can help you out with the numbers who's a little bit more knowledgeable. So that's all I really have to say about macros anymore, guys. Um, this was just a basic guideline of what to use, how to count, how to um, obtain your, your specific individual maintenance, um, how to lose or to gain, um, and anyways, I'm super excited to get this video up for you guys. It literally took me so long to edit, um, so long to vlog. You know, this really means a lot to me. I do this for you guys. Um, I am passionate about fitness, but at the end of the day, um, I love inspiring and I love um, feeling that I'm helping you guys out in some way. Um, so, I love you guys so much. Um, you are the reason why I do what I do besides my passion and love for it. Um, you guys just push me more and believe it or not, you motivate me to do even better. Um, so, I hope that this was everything and more that you guys hope for on a macro um, basics breakdown video. Um, if you have any questions or um, concerns, confusions about the video, please comment um, below. Um, again, the BMR calculator is going to be in the description, the activity levels, how to find your need, the body mass is going to be in the description. So make sure you check out the description. Um, and yeah, guys, Go ahead and comment. You can even feel free to DM me on um, Instagram. I do get a lot of DMs on the daily, but I do try and answer them. The appropriate ones, that is. So anyways, I love you guys. Mwah. Hey.